In this video, we are going to discuss about single particle motion in plasma case 3. Okay, that means uh, gravitational field drift. Okay, gravitational field drift. We have uh, discussed earlier single particle motion under magnetic field and E cross B. Okay, magnetic and electric field. Okay, so this is the third case. Here we are going to discuss about single particle motion in plasma under gravitational field okay so before you watch this video i would like to request what's lexa 5 last video okay link is given in the description box okay visit it in the last video we have already got that uh, guiding center drift guiding center drift due to electric field is given by or you can write ve that's given by e cross b by b square this is suppose equation number one okay and our equation of motion that is m dv by dt is equal to q e plus q into v cross b so this was the equation of motion okay now here you see the force due to this gives this term this terms q e gives the force due to e field that is electric field this gives the force due to electric field so we can write f is equal to q into e now as we are applying gravitational field we are going to study the drift under gravitational field not electric field so we can write f is equal to m g okay f is equal to mg where z is the acceleration due to gravity okay so now if you use these two equations using these two equations we get and this implies mz by q this is suppose equation number two now let us use this equation number two in equation number one so replace this u by mz by q okay so let me scroll up using 2 in 1 we get uh, the drift due to gravitational field so let us write it bz that is equal to so if you replace this e by this term then you will get mg cross b by q into b square this is equation number suppose 3 okay this is equation number 3 so now you see this this is this drift that means this is similar to the drift be that is drift due to uh, electric field which is perpendicular to b okay but drift due to gravitational field vg changes with the particle surge particle charge okay 
so here in this case ve when we have applied electric field the drift uh, of both ions and electrons were in the same direction but in case of gravitational field it depends on the charge of the particle if it is positive charge it will if it drift in this direction the negative charge will drift on the other direction in the opposite direction okay so now let me explain why now you see suppose this is an electric field so there is a positive charge there is a negative charge and if this field exists due to a positive charge then it will repel the positive charge that means electric field exerts force on this direction and the force exerted by the electric field on the negative charge will be in the opposite direction okay so if the force on these two so force on these two due to the electric field in the opposite direction and again if one gyrate if one of these two charges gyrates in anti clockwise direction another in clockwise direction that means in opposite sense then the drift will be in the same direction their guiding center will be drifted in the same direction as the force due to electric field are acting in the opposite direction and gyrations are in the opposite direction that's why drifting will be in the same direction but when you replace this electric field by gravitational field okay gravitational field doesn't exist for charge okay and, uh, but electric field exists due to a charged particle maybe it is positive or maybe it is negative that's why force on this field in uh, on two different charges were in opposite direction but due to uh, but gravitation gravitational force or gravitational field let me say gravitational field it is not generated due to this uh, due to any charge okay so that's why it will exert force on both the charged particles both the charged particles in the same direction so force due to the gravitational field in the same direction but gyrating in different direction that's why their drifting will be in opposite direction let me uh, draw it again okay so here you see this is the magnetic field uh, which is uh, direction of magnetic field so cross represent the direction of magnetic field such that it is perpendicular to the screen it is coming out okay and this is the gravitational field okay then this positive charge suppose gyrating in this way like this okay and this is the electron it is gyrating in this way in the opposite sense then they are drifting in different direction because gyrating in uh, gyrating in different direction and force due to gravitational field in the same direction that's why drifting occurs in different direction but when you apply when you apply electric field in this case force due to electric field are in the forces due to electric field on the two charged particles are in the opposite direction and they are gyrating in opposite direction that's why drifting in the same direction but here also here you can see direct uh, sorry gyrating in different direction in this case as well but the force due to the gravitational force uh, sorry gravitational field on these two ions uh, positive and negative ions um, that means electrons and ions you can consider like this this force due to gravitational field are acting in the same direction gyrating gyrating in the opposite direction that's why drifting must be 
in the opposite direction as they are gyrating in the opposite direction but in this case when we applied electric field here also gyrating in different direction but force due to this electric field are also in different direction but in this case the forces were in the same direction but here in different direction force are in different direction gyrating in different direction that's why drifting mass take place in the same direction so hope this point is clear now now let us calculate the current density okay so current density of n charges okay e is given by j n q this is into drift velocity okay so q is the charge here so now you see so from equation number three so let me scroll down here so this is the equation number three now let us use this equation here okay so then what we will get so we know v from equation number three v z is equal to m z cross b by b square so let us use here sorry here it is qb square okay so now you see q q cancel so this expression become this expression becomes j vector n m g cross b by b square okay this is suppose equation number four now you see so here we have two different kinds of charged particles one is ion another is electron that means one is positively charged another is electric uh, sorry negatively charged okay for the positively charged ions okay you can write j ions so n capital M Z cross B by B square where uh, capital M we have considered this mass is small m so let us replace this small n by capital M capital M is the mass of ion okay mass of ion and for electrons suppose let us consider the mass b is small m for electrons mass of electrons okay mass of electron mass of electron so now here current density n is small letter m z cross b by b square okay so here you see this is suppose equation number five this is suppose equation number six so now let us find the net current density so net current density net current density is j vector that is j ion plus j electrons gives n capital M G cross B by B square plus N small m G cross B by B square okay now let us take common this part okay then what will happen so then we will have n capital m plus m here g cross b by b square this is the expression for net current density
ओके नाउ यू सी फ्रॉम दोज एब एनालिस फ्रॉम दिस एनालिस वी कैन वी कैन से और वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट द फिजिकल रीजन for this drift is again the change in in lerma radius that is rl okay we have already discussed about rl in the last video i think okay so if you, uh, what's the uh, lecture 4 no and lecture 5 as well okay due to gain and losses of energy okay in gravitational field okay इलेक्ट्रन इलेक्ट्रन जैरेक्स इन दपोजिट सेंस टू द आयन to the ion but the force on them is in the force on them due to that means uh, gravitational field force due to gravitational field uh, is in the same direction so drift is in opposite direction so hope it's clear so thank you for watching this video if it is uh, helpful then please subscribe to the channel and do share my videos okay thank you for